our last right. session, our adventurers decided to head back into town before proceeding forward towards the cave. The adventurers finally had some time to bond and learn more about each other. Drinks were shared, food was had, and Siri slipped a little something into Bjorn's drink. Begin campaign. All right. Let's go ahead and turn on the environment music, which should be ambiance. Or maybe I don't know. I forget what I put it under. Uh, I heard oh. a bird. Uh, that's just. Uh, yeah, it is not under ambiance. For the burning fireplace. Ah, there it is. Okay. So, as the recording uh, left us off, your had just. Uh, Believe it, right. eating the uh, aphrodisiac. The yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna call the bartender over to me. Give me something for my nerves. Kind of be like, I need, uh, I need something for my nerves. I really, I really think that bird dude over there is pretty cute. <laughs> you brought this upon. You brought something upon uh, yourselves. Okay, so he leans over and uh, he, he's uh sits there like, how strong? Uh, I don't know. Just give me something, and I'm just gonna like empty some gold on the counter. I'm just like. I'll just like throw some code out onto the counter. Can you repeat that one? Sorry. Uh, did you not hear it? Uh, I'm gonna say I don't know, just whatever, and then I'll empty out some gold on the counter, and you can determine how much, because I'm just gonna kind of throw it out. All right. He'll take five gold. The uh, he'll he'll give you uh give you uh, a decent dwarven ale. Alright, I'm just gonna kind of drink it right quick, and while I'm drinking it, I'm gonna give him of all the, the bedroom eyes, you know? Kind of like whistling at him a little bit too, so I get his attention. Do you want any checks on that drink? Uh, yes. Go ahead and make a constitution check. Oh, thank god. <laughs> So as you're downing the drink and giving a ball of a look over there, your head just smacks the uh, the uh, counter bar. Yeah, the, the, the bar counter. Uh, it sounds good. Like you have completely passed out drunk again. <laughs> All right, I'm good. So the bartender, he's going to come over here and kind of look at Aval real quick, and he's going to be like, Would you do me a quick favor? I begrudgingly answer, Yes. This is the second time she's passed out. Would you be able to take her into one of the rooms and lay her down, please? I'm not doing it anymore. Thank you. So I'll go over <clears throat> and I'll uh, look at someone. Well, no, I'll just go over and pick her up and drag her by uh, by her shoulder into the into the room, the nearest room. All right, that works. Alright. Now, is there anything anyone else is wanting to do? Sleep. 
I'll give uh, the bartender a platinum to make sure these guards don't get any more alcohol in them. <laughs> the uh, bartender will look at you and he'll just kind of like slyly pocket that coin and like, like and, and like he, he looks at it rather unexpectedly too like That's all. <laughs> all right. What time of day is it, by the way? Uh, it's still probably it, it's probably about two o'clock right now. So oh, we're PM. we're day drinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I was saying. That's why I wasn't, that's why I wasn't getting drunk. <laughs> I I thought it was nighttime when we arrived the last session. To be honest. Well, they realized I was day drinking. Well, you guys conquered some stuff. You're enjoying some ale and whatnot. Okay, so, Rizor here is going to go ahead and put a couple of gold on the counter for the bartender and just kind of stumble back this way. Find a uh, find a bed. All right. Is there anything anyone else is wanting to do during this time? Just continue uh, slowly sipping down on their darkest tail. If that's what I have. If I don't have it, then I order another one. All right. Uh, if I recall, you previously had water, was it? Yep. So... Yeah, just one. I'm a lightweight. All right. So, yeah. Eel's only going to be a couple of gold at most, so. Um, so, yeah, he'll, he'll gladly uh, pour you uh, a uh, drink. I stack some coins. And slide over the little stack. So Siri's gonna walk over and talk to Vaughn. Say, hey, Vaughn. Hello. So, what are we gonna do now? Well, we still have a <laughs> the boss of the Lupins to deal with. If you all feel like up for that. Okay. So we have to wait till everybody. Uh, Sobers up. Yeah, that would be, pre that would, that would be preferable. Yes. <laughs> okay. So oh, probably a day the most, and we just pray that their arm, their supposed army they're gathering <laughs> doesn't attack the town. <laughs> yeah. Uh, was there anything else to do in this town while we're waiting for the guys to sober up and girl? <laughs> well, we can gamble. Gamble. Why not? Hmm. I don't know how to gamble. <laughs> oh, that's great! Take a seat. Oops, I'm standing on the table. Hold on. <laughs> you don't know how to sit either. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> right. Is he sleepwalking? I'm just, sleepwalking? Moving, I'm just <laughs> moving my character in here just so there's vision of it for the recording. Oh, okay. Ah. Alright. Um, I don't have any cards on me. Nor dice. Ah, keep! Got any cards! <laughs> it's like, uh... No, typically you might try asking Fisherman Guild. They're, they're always playing cards. Ah. Be right back. Okay. Draws Namron. Hmm? You guys doing anything or just chilling? Just chilling. Vaughn's just pacing. What building was it? Fuck. This <laughs> this one. As you uh -huh. walk in, there are five men sitting around the table, just uh, 
sitting there playing cards. They, they, they all kind of like look over at you and go back to their business rather quickly. <laughs> Do y'all have a spare deck I could buy? Buy off you? One of them kind of looks over at you. You got gold? Do you have a deck? It's like, would I be asking if I didn't? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I have gold. And I will happily part with it to bring one of your decks with me. He'll uh, pull a deck out of uh, his out of his bag and everything like that, and he'll hand it to you. And it looks a little beaten up and well worn. And he's like, uh, "Gold should do it." All right. Before I pay, I'm gonna look through it, make sure all the cards are there, and make sure none of them are marked. As you're looking through the deck, there are no Joker. All right, that's fine. I'll give him a gold. Oh, hell, I'll give him three, uh, two. Thank you. All right. Uh, yeah. It's fun being rich. <laughs> Just throw money around. Money is the greatest superpower. <laughs> yep, and it helps the economy. So my God approves. <laughs> I'm back. Well, there you are. Okay. okay. Uh, we'll play 21. So just equal, get, uh, get cards, equal to 21. Closest one wins. Okay. I would set the wonderful deck up and everything like that for you guys, but, um... We could literally just roll for it. So yeah. We can, just roll, we can just roll a d20. Simple as that. Yep. Just Wouldn't make it, uh... Plus one? Sure. Why not? Or you could just roll a d21. That's true. <laughs> I think I won the first hand. <laughs> Yes, I think you did. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> what are you doing? You're wasting gold them. Now. You're wasting, You're wasting them. them, bro. <laughs> yeah, Stop. I know I am. Stop gambling right now. <laughs> to be fair, we're just playing cards. We're not betting anything. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, I, I probably would. <laughs> okay, one more, one more hand. One more hand. You, you go first. <laughs> you deal. <laughs> Oh, I was for a third 20. <laughs> All right. Okay, so... If nobody is planning to do anything for this time period, is everyone okay with time skipping to the next day? Yeah. 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 I'm down. All right. I'm good. Our Thorn thinks Bjorn is a savage. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> okay. So. The vast majority of you awaken the next day when you uh, re-enter the bar's area. The guards are passed out drunk at the table. Oh, fuck. My head. <laughs> uh, Siri, Bjorn, do you know what did you do to me? Ugh. He's never had a headache like that before because he's never Stop. drunk. Stop crying before I knock you out back into sleep. Uh, uh, the guards are supposed to give us something, right? Gives us, give us what? Oh, we already no. got paid. We already got paid. But they're supposed to go to give us a quest or something. I can't remember. Well, they're no. drunk off their asses, so they ain't oh, gonna be much help. Siri, do you have anything to help drunkenness? <laughs> you know, I honestly, I don't. Damn. I looked through all she my can, herbs. She I can prevent change. drunkenness, but not stop it. Yeah, I could change alcohol into water. That's about it. Oh, I'm just reverse Jesus. <laughs> Your <laughs> shitty version of Jesus. <laughs> hey. What? Where's Jaws? Oh, there's Jaws. Uh, As you gonna... guys are conversing, 
stumbling around with your uh, hangovers. You notice one of the guards kind of stands up and falls backwards over the uh, bench here. And he's just like, like it's a loud thud, and he's just like, "Oh." Are you okay? okay? Sits there like, "Oh yeah, yep." Give me a couple more bottles, I'll be right as rain. I, I just glare at the bartender at this point. <laughs> <laughs> He's just trying to make money, man. I just gave him a platinum to not give him any more alcohol. <laughs> he fucking better keep his word. Uh, so he, he, he kind of stumbles around a little bit and kind of like walk, walks over here just all stumbly and wobbly and sits down on the table <laughs> <laughs> and he's, he's just kind of like checking all the mugs and everything here to, just just to make sure like <laughs> I fill one with water from the <laughs> snap my fans and just give it to him drink this lad He's like, ah, oh, thanks. He's like, now, what was it you wanted to talk about last night? Is this Oros or Av Avado? This is Oro. All right. Um, you sure you're sober enough for this? <laughs> it's like, well, I'm not going to be any less sober. Fair point, lad. Well, we killed the Lupin that captured you, but we also learned that they're, they are gathering an army. So, I need you to three to stop drinking and start readying this town. I'll produce the order, the lupine orders. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. Like as you kind of tell him this and everything like that, he's like, "Oh, good. You 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 killed where's the where's the bag of coin?" We were already paid. It's like, "Oh, oh, oh, good. Good." You did hear about the part about the army, right? It's like, what, what, what <laughs> army? What is this, Starbucks, bitch? Why six? Jesus. He's, yeah. gonna, he's gonna need it. <laughs> oh, whoops. What? Can I roll a medicine check to help, like, figure out, like, a concoction to help fight, like, a, like a fucking hangover? Like a rock good on the uh, Yes, thank you. Yeah. All right. Here's some coffee, everyone. Okay. Mm. <laughs> oh, mm. thank you. <laughs> what the hell's coffee? <laughs> actually, oh, funny enough, coffee. it actually funny enough you do. Like it's actually a thing that you can buy in all the books and everything like that. Yep. Like it's actually Coffee's there. Legit. Yep. Damn. It's just, yeah. a, it's just a bean with hot water poured over it. <laughs> All right. Let's, Excellent. Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's been around for a while, and so is tea. Oh yeah, tea. Uh, I can. I can see. I can see. But coffee, I can't see. But now I can. I am so sorry about that, but I am back. Oh, it's all good. Uh, does, did this guy read the lupine orders I gave him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he, he read them and everything like that. And, He's sitting here looking at it, and he's like, Now what was this thing talking about? Like, he's still really drunk. Like, uh, again, can I get like a concoction of like a rotten egg, some Tabasco sauce, some pepper, and will that help his fucking hangover? Or will it kill him? The coffee might. Excellent, I'll give him my cup. He'll uh, take it, and he's just sitting here like drinking it and everything, like slowly sipping on it, and he's like, he, he, he uh, pulls out some glasses and just kind of like re looks at this note and he's just sitting there like, Oh. <laughs> you see him immediately just stumble back over here, like, screaming and ranting and everything like that, like, vigorously shaking the captain. That's more like it. <laughs> That's the reaction I was expecting. <laughs> Thank you for not disappointing me. So, 
he, he, he spends a couple of minutes here, like, trying to rouse the captain. The captain, like, just kind of wakes up and looks at the note. And immediately, like, just kind of grabs the messenger over, like, and, like, pulls him over. And, uh, says, I need you to write this down. So, so she, she like, immediately sends him off, uh, what do you call it, uh, to deliver a message. Yes, yeah, send a half drunken hungover knight <laughs> to go deliver a message of great import. I can't see anything wrong with that. No, you sent the messenger. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> So, the captain comes over and talks to you and everything like that. Now, uh, I've got a question real quick. Do you, do you know where this cave is? <laughs> Just awkward <laughs> silence, like, uh... uh to be fair, we, did, we, didn't look, we didn't look much after the battle. They, it could be not far from their camp, which we destroyed and raided. We know it's by the river from the note. I pull out my map. Do I? Is there any known? I doubt there's a fucking cave there, but is there any a river near it uh, where their camp was? I'd like to do a knowledge geography check for the map. Yeah, go for it. I rolled it. <laughs> Holy fuck! Holy oh, shit! Jesus, I, dude. I know this land. It speaks <laughs> to me. So yeah, you you kind of look at that map and you and you're just sitting there like you're like. I think there might be some caves about here. And by the looks of it, it's a good four days walk. Uh, uh, what, type of, what type of terrain will we encounter? Don't say fucking hills. Cliffs. <laughs> <laughs> I will introduce a, a coal mining company to remove those hills to this world. <laughs> I will start well, an industrial <laughs> revolution. <laughs> just send some the alchemists. Pen. They'll just blow everything up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so to answer your question, uh, depending on how close you get to the mountain you're heading towards, um, it could end up being very mountainous terrain. Fun. Otherwise, you could be dealing with some more of the same cliffs and hills. Holy shit, Ethan. Yeah? I can hear you eating your snacks. Dude, I have the mic turned down so much. Just, just, just meet up when you're gonna eat. Okay. Sorry. You're good, bro. You're good. good. You're good. All right. God. Those new mic issues. No, 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 no. Could yeah. be worse than Ross used to do. Oh, man. All right. Uh, but yeah, so depending on how close you get to the mountain, it'll be either more of the same or it could end up being very mountainous terrain. Oh, so, we all have our climbing kits. Yeah, because that's so, the, the man who suggested you buy them. Um, Aethorn, are you, it, well, where, indicate where this cave, you think this cave is. Like, can you narrow it down to an exact hill, mountain, or? Um, I would base, would it, would it be more hill or more um, flatland, or not, not flatland, but would it be more hill based or? Not Let me based. double check the map here real quick, and I will give so you. I'm assuming a... it'd be more mountain based. Well, they're in a cave, right? So we don't yeah. necessarily have to climb a mountain as much as. No, a... no, no, no! You just have to climb find mountain. the mountain, which will be a pain in the ass. <laughs> yes. How far did you say? It's about four days away. How much are horses in this universe? 
Uh, the closest mountain region. Huh? Wait, say, say again. How much is how a much horse? are horses? Oh, how much are horses? This town doesn't sell horses. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah that, that was the first thing we asked. How convenient. Are they willing to sell any of their horses? <laughs> yeah, that, that's probably not going to happen either. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fair enough. I need something to pull the plows. Uh, yeah. That's what your kids are for. <laughs> Alright, so the nearest mountainous terrain is going to be about a day away, and that's if you go across the... If, that's if you go across the river. So... Okay. I'm gonna grab the note and reread it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna ask the guard captain if maybe if we go over there and solve this problem for them, if they would pay us. So the captain's gonna go ahead and say, well, we would have to get another bounty issued. And if it's a question of a war, then if we were to pay you, you would have to be employed as soldiers. How about mercenaries? Unfortunately, we only employ mercenaries, as we call them, for the purpose of hunting bounty. Hmm. Good thing we're mercenaries. Yeah, good thing we're missing Ace, huh? The two of you are. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'll say, how about you get a bounty get chewed, and we'll go take care of this little problem for you. Maybe we could use that monkey's paw hint, hint to find out exactly where we need to go. <laughs> Son of we, a we we have thanks to, with Athorn's help we have narrowed it, narrowed it down so we don't need to use any cursed items. Uh, <laughs> you don't know it's cursed. All right, we don't need to use dark magic to. Oh, it's <laughs> to ominous. Help. But I mean, it can be a good kind of ominous. <laughs> Come on, we won't summon the the seventh destroyer of the world here again. Come on. Oh, look, it's oh, oh no, we we must definitely want to summon them. I'm joking. <laughs> Kill him. Uh. So, Captain, right. how long it might take for you to get us some horses? Yeah, that'd be useful. <laughs> you all really want horses. Well, uh. I technically can't use them. I need a cart. For what? All the heads you're gonna cut? No, for all the body, I can't. He doesn't have horse. legs. Well, I mean, I guess you can always just constrict the horde. I feel like that's okay, a bad that, choice. That didn't sound right from what yeah. I heard. Yeah, yeah, that that didn't sound right at all. I think you, you forgot an S on the end of that. No, I said constrict. A whore, you said. Oh no, no, I said horse. <laughs> we have to know what we heard. Hell, <laughs> uh, the mic probably just uh cut out and didn't pick it up. It's not that kind of game, damn it. <laughs> that shit for D D. All right. So, so we'll, be, we'll deal with the problem. You get the bounty issued and rally whatever people you can and train them as best you can. Better get them to a safe spot. Alright. Uh, the captain can agree to those terms, at the very least. Of all, do you care to join this conversation, or are you just gonna sit at the bar? Depends on what you're talking about. After I take another seat, my answer. Well, as far as I can tell, they seem to want to get paid more money by the soldiers here to continue tracking down these beasts of men. If there's good money involved, 
count me in. Arthur's gonna turn around. Well, Vaughn, you heard him. All right, looks like we know what we're gonna do next. <laughs> Gather your rations. I'm gonna go see if I can buy a climbing kit. <laughs> Not have one? No, you bought them all. Uh, that wasn't me, that was dry. So, on one sec. All right. So, I just want to go buy two rations and then refill my water and then I'm good. And I'll just like do main on my gear and wait for the others. Alright, the rations will only be two gold and uh, so and <laughs> refilling your water skin, obviously you can do that from the river for free, so. <laughs> I'll do the same. All right. Now, what were you specifically coming down here for? Uh... I know it's a long shot, but I'm gonna see if he has a climbing kit yet. <laughs> in case we do have to get up the mountains. Okay. So he uh, looks at you like, "Oh, how are you doing? Like, like, are you here to buy some more stuff?" Yes. Do you have any chance to help me with a climbing kit? He kind of looks at you like, does it really look like stuff moves through here that often? It's only been four days. I could hope, to be honest. <laughs> All right. <laughs> do you like have anything now, else? I do have some rope if you happen to need rope. I literally show him the stuff on my bag. <laughs> like, I'm not good there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you anyway. And I'll just go get some rations, too. Alright. Alright, you said two gold? Yeah, two for two. Keep in mind, you're gonna be traveling four days there and four days potentially back. back. Yeah, I, I'm bringing ten, so I'm, I should be good. Not to mention, you might need extra rations. Depending on how lost you guys get. <laughs> With then a 31 again, geography, we should be fucking good. <laughs> if not, we're <laughs> We have bigger problems if we get lost. <laughs> <laughs> I want to um, just kind of go up on someone's, so like the roof of the inn. I'm going to fly on top of the roof of the inn, and I'm going to use fletching. Um, to create some of those arrows that I shot in the last battle. Some of those oh, wizards. Yeah. How much cartridges do I have left? I am very good. Alright. Oh, sorry. Um, oh, Siri I, Siri, I went behind the... Um, I went behind the tavern. And I'm going to go out now uh, to the dirt... For I must commune. Or I'm gonna be over here. Sorry, I must commune with the earth if we are to travel. Um, for us not to get lost. What do you mean commune? Uh, if you wish to watch, you may. Yes, I would like to. All right. So, um, uh, Arthorn is going to get on one knee, and he's gonna grab. Um, he's gonna basically scoop up a, uh, a handful of dirt, and he's gonna go ahead and cast Whispering Lore. Um, so let's see here. You would need... Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It's successful. So, um, he's gonna go ahead and cast, uh, Whispering Lore. So, um... Takes him about a full minute, even though it says full round action. I'm just gonna role play it to him taking about a full minute. He's gonna start speaking in Druidic, which is a language that none of you can understand. And uh, you're gonna see the dirt start to slowly glow in his hands 
As and then as he drops it to the floor, d- the glow dissipates and it becomes back to normal dirt. And then he slowly stands back up. Oh. Pretty cool looking spell. Interesting. All right. Plus four insight to a single knowledge check based off the terrain. That's awesome. Do you have a spirit, Thor? Uh, no. I uh, through my training, I learned how to communicate with the earth. I see. All right. Awesome. <laughs> All right. I don't understand them. Never mind. <laughs> You're like, huh? I, was just, I was about to say something real witty, and then I was like, oh, wait. Like, I don't understand what he's saying. <laughs> I was like, couldn't understand what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. It's going to so. be really funny when we go in mountains. <laughs> Draws. <laughs> Uh, magic, gotta love his response. dirt, stuff, whatever. <laughs> I thought he was going to say magic dirt, but alright. <laughs> like, okay. I'm a fighter, I, I don't care too much for magic. Unless it's healing me. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> or getting nice. right. So, I'm going to go ahead and need a rival check and a knowledge geography check. Uh, gotcha. From uh, Arthorn, since you're the one that seems to know exactly where he wants to go. And that's yep. going to be for each day of travel. God. Can I assist him with the survival checks? And I'll guidance him with a plus one. <laughs> <laughs> 31, <laughs> please. <laughs> right. Well, actually, it was prime for the first skill, so 24 for survival. That's more than enough, though, to ensure that you aren't getting lost for the first day. <laughs> Here you comes guys, the one. Yeah, so you guys travel through the entire... Like, I- I'm just going to go ahead and uh, start skipping you guys along, unless there's anything else anyone wants to do in town. Quick nope. question. One more thing here. Um, are there any birds in the cornfield to my left? It's a weird question. Or any cool birds concern. within like 30, 40 feet of me? I... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and walk over to the uh, the cornfield, and I'm gonna go ahead and cast commune with birds, and I'm gonna go ahead and essentially attempt to tell them if they see anything that's not human or a humanoid to come back to me immediately great we got we got right. a crazy healer which talks to spirits now we got someone that talks to dirt and birds <laughs> <laughs> um yeah they they most definitely seem to get the message and understand you all right, all right. we're ready to move forward okay Quick so, question. Sorry. Did I get that longbow plus two? Or you yeah. did. It should be you in did. your inventory already. Mm. It should be in your equipment. If it's not, just go ahead and add it. So it's a plus two longbow. All right. Hold on. All right we cool. haven't. Yeah, we didn't add it to your attacks. That's the only thing we didn't do. It says new bow. I'm assuming that's it. Oh, yeah, that's probably it then. Yeah, because if it's not, I probably sold it. <laughs> All right. So Thank continuing you. on right quick bell. All right. So for the first day of travel, you guys encounter no issues at all. Arthorin has been quite the uh, knowledgeable guide here, though it seems pretty easy to just follow the river. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So but, we're following uh, the river right now? Yes. Okay. Right. You guys come to your first night of camping, and I'm assuming you guys are doing standard watch and everything like that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yes. All right. 
throughout the night you have encountered no problem. Right. Uh, make sure you guys minus any rations, rations, and everything like that for the first day's travel. Yeah. And for the second day's travel, Arthorn, if you will go ahead and give me a geography and survival check. Again, I'm going to assist up that, that survival check. Okay. Jesus. Alright, so he's got a 17 for survival. <laughs> Alright. Unless he wants to put it towards his jet. Oh, question. Um, was, was that next morning? Yeah. For what? <laughs> for this the... Yes, for new these are this is day two roll, right? Yes, this is day two. I'm gonna go ahead and cast the um the plus four insight. Okay. Again. So that's a thirty um geography check. Alright, yeah, that, that's no problem. You're pretty sure you know exactly where you're going, however, your skill in survival has uh somehow like like led you away from the river a uh, uh, uh a few times. You've managed to get back every time, but uh, you've seemed to have had a little bit more difficult today. Okay. Alright. You guys get to your sec second uh, place to camp and continue to pull watch. Throughout the night, it is completely uneven. All right. It's a good night, then. <laughs> good. Yeah, an uneventful night's a good night. Burning through those and rations. <laughs> yep. Make sure you're doing your rations. Yep. Well, thankfully, like half of us can use survival to hunt things, so we should be good. Yeah, yeah I we hope so. up before we left last session. All that too. Uh oh. Oop. Well, he's back. He's back. Sorry, I meant to say, can I go hunting for some game? Yes, you can more than do that. Survival true. One, kill yourself. Number one, <laughs> eaten oh, by one. a bear. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. All right. I just want to wrap it. <laughs> As you are looking around to hunt some small game, you don't really seem to be able to spot any in the particular area. Uh, the most you see here and there is a fish in the river. Um, the area seems to be quite barren in terms of game. So, I just want to take some silk rope and attach it to one of my arrows and see if I can catch a fish. Bow fishing. Hell yeah. With your attack rolls, that shouldn't be any problem at all. <laughs> <laughs> that one. Oh. Cast inevitable strike! 36. Don't, don't <laughs> get Pull out three fish <laughs> when you shot that one. Uh, yeah, fuck it. I'm going to use a nevical strike. What the uh, fuck? It's a fish. Take a full round. And then I'm going to try to shoot it. I want to find the biggest one. The fish explodes. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Why? Why? He, he pulls out a shark. Where the it, hell explodes. <laughs> it explodes. It explodes. <laughs> You've chummed the water. Oh, well. Okay. The druid's, uh, Did I the get druid's it? gonna be. <laughs> Did I get it? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Did hold you on. feel? Did you feel that one in the force of nature? <laughs> All right. <I> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I, okay. I felt like a tiny fish was skimming out of agony. <laughs> yeah. Some disturbance in the water. Okay. So god. as you impale this fish, it is ginormous. When you manage to pull it out of the water, it seems quite heavy. It is a 17-pound fish. Goddamn. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, no ration use tonight, boys. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty up for my, my, my catch tonight, despite my earlier uh, failure. So <laughs> I'm going to slap this thing over my back and just hop it back. Slap. To the crew. So, uh, like, you, you have taken that whole, like, oh, it's just another big fish story and everything. Like, you, you have proven that, oh, no, there, there, there is that big fish. <laughs> so, 
So, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to put it like on the rock in the middle of the group. I'm just going to kind of like slap it down on the rock. And I'm just going to let it sit there until someone decides to cook it. Right. All right. And I will go ahead and try and cook it. Uh, I thought Jerry's weren't supposed to start fires. <laughs> oh, we know how to cook, jackass. <laughs> and really? he see it stoned it. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah. Okay. So you you. Do you have any? Does anyone have any kind of knife or anything like that to gut this thing? I got it. I, I got it. Scale knife. it. I like, got okay. it. Okay. Bronze yeah, I think. Oh, I'm a druid. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't fillet that shit. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna fillet that shit. Such. <laughs> I can just make a knife. I mean, I doubt you want to use the great sword. <laughs> <laughs> Let's use the sight instead. All right. So, uh, Bjorn, since you want to go ahead and play it and everything like that, go ahead and roll survival for me. Yeah, give me one sec. <laughs> okay. So, between, uh, Bjorn and Arthorn's, uh, cooking and preparing the fish, uh, you guys are decently able to, uh, cook the fish. Um, however, it will dry out in a couple of days entirely to where it probably won't be edible anymore. So, but uh, you got, in, in the meantime, you're able to cook seven thrash out. So, you guys uh, definitely have it covered, considering that, uh, well, if you're eating the rations now and eat a ration tomorrow morning or any time like that, you'll pretty much have used up the fish entirely. Wait, I have, I have something. Um, I have an herb that I could sprinkle on it that would preserve it for a week. Oh! Can I get some of that? <laughs> Heck yeah. Hold on. Does this work on bodies? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh god. Is there a cannibal in the party? I thought uh, yeah. I was savage as fuck. <laughs> I don't hear uh, a no or a yes, so I'm gonna assume it's a yes. Boy, question, babe. How many days is the aphrodisiac? It was only six hours. It was out. Oh, that's right. It was hours. That's right. Okay. Yeah, if it was days, I would still be unconscious, drunk, <laughs> doing my best. To, All right. To avoid his unnatural urges, yes. Yeah. Mmm, <laughs> flower food. Oh, there it is. The worst warasa herb. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm saving that. <laughs> 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 All right. Awesome. Okay. okay. Is there anything anyone is wanting to do for the second morning? Uh, uh aside from eating some fish. How I'll, where, I'll, where Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, I was about to say we're about halfway through the camp, right? Or where we suspect the cave is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh I would like to roll perception and make sure we're not being followed. Your report? You are most certain that you are not being followed. Okay, I'm good. All right, I will actually mark our tra our trail. So literally, I'll just scour, uh, score one of the uh, tree nearby, just so I just so if all the people who die who no tracking, someone else will know a way back. <laughs> all right. Well, I mean, I suppose you could just fall into the river and float down river until you get to town. True. But again, yeah, most, of us are wearing, most, most of us are wearing like heavy ass shit. So unless you, you want to drown, drown in the river. river. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Floating back to town. So, for the third day, uh, well, for, for the second days of travel, you already gave me uh, that one, though. I'm sure you did. Did you? 
or technical third. So. What's up? All right, so for the third day of travel, let me double check quick. Yeah, okay, yeah, there's only two up there. So yeah, for the third day of travel, I'm gonna go ahead and need another uh, survival and guidance. Yep. Okay. And I'm assuming you're doing the spell thing again? Uh, yes. All right. So that only applies to geography. Okay. So the third day goes by. You're like you seem uh, you seem relatively more knowledgeable uh, today than you did yesterday. Uh, you're able to quite easily guide the party around any circumstances uh, that cause any problems. Um, you happen to notice that uh, this is like like this is the area that you like uh, would have encountered the um, waterfall again. So remembering the issue that oh hey yeah there's a cave going through the waterfall. You take that and end up on top of the uh, cliff again and you up and by this point you realize that. You are much farther past, uh, past camp than you realize, but you find yet another waterfall. And you end up having to lead the party around, uh, around to get up on top of it, but it doesn't take too much time. And as you continue on, you guys stop to make camp for the third night. And you make camp. There is nothing eventful that happens on the day. However, you do realize that um, the terrain is slowly becoming more rocky and mountain. Uh, right. Is there anything you guys are specifically wanting to do for the camping on the third day? Uh, perception again. Make sure we're not being followed or anything. Damn, that perception roll. Make sure no crazy shit's going on. As far as you can tell, nobody is following. Sounds good. Yeah, I want to check our perimeter. I'm just gonna do a cloverleaf sweep in the air. All right. Fly perception. Nice. Fly, fly. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> and you are fairly certain that there is nothing within your perimeter as well. Uh, I report back to the group landing on one day. There's nothing in our vicinity. I go, go over and just conduct maintenance. Great. Um. The night goes through, nothing completely, like, goes through with absolutely no, uh, no event taking place. So, very quiet, standard night, uh, other than fish occasionally splashing in the water. Wait, what? Fish occasionally splashing in the water. Oh, okay, I thought you said just splashing in the water, I was like, uh... <laughs> Might be a problem! Come on, stop it, sorry. Stop playing. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. I, I, I don't know why. Okay. So, anyways. It's the next morning, and... Right. So, for the fourth day, unless there's anything specific you guys want to do. Is there a... Are we by the river or something? Yes, you yeah. are near the river. Can we walk in it? Yeah, you can easily walk into the river. Okay, I'm going to take my clothes off and take a bath in the river. In a river? Mm -hmm. you, do you know how much power is behind that current? <laughs> Bye! I have spells. She, she's just in, like, the shallows of it. She's not, like, swimming yeah, I'm in just it. In the oh, shallows. okay, I was like, um... No. I'm just going, like, knee-deep, and I'm just going to wash myself off. And, I'm going to know. refill my water. <laughs> 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 You know what? Uh, I'll join. Never seen a half elf, na half elf naked before. <laughs> All right. Uh, 
I'll join her and make some rude comments to Vaughn about his sexuality and how he's gay. <laughs> uh, Vaughn just stares at you like, what? <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he's just staring. He's like, yeah, I'm the gay one, but I've got eyes full of titties. <laughs> hey, uh, fun. <laughs> so far, we've seen half our party naked and they're both female. <laughs> yes, I am totally gay. And you're, and you're wet. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Do you want to have him do something about my tattoo again, Sen? Actually, speaking of which, yes. Um, if anyone wants to at this time, they can go ahead and make a knowledge check on... a uh, knowledge religion check on... <laughs> your... Wow, you guys are really bad. <laughs> you know <what? laughs> I'm, gonna I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna guidance knowledge myself religion. because I'm tired of failing this. <laughs> You guys are really. Oh, oh my, my god. god! You guys are. Really Question. Bad can I can I take twenty since we're non threatened? Yes, you can. I'm gonna take twenty. <laughs> I'm gonna take a twenty. Guys, that would be a like twenty-four. It'd be a twenty-four. <laughs> we, we can't roll above a ten each time. <laughs> so bad. Uh, let's see what you got. Vaughn, you have gentle. crit failed this thing like more times than I can count. It's not a god, god I'm familiar with! What do you expect? I live in a oh desert! My god. Oh my god! I live I in a desert, she talks with ghosts, what do you expect? <laughs> Jesus! Oh my god, okay, so... You're an oracle, how is your religion so trashy? I have no idea. What is it? A plus two? Oh, it's a plus two, I got a plus eight. Plus two. Alright. Oh, nice. I'm gonna so. take 20 on mine. I got an 18. There we go. Oh. There we go. All right. <coughs> oh, I'll get you the name right quick. So at this point, though, because the, it appears that PCM. multiple of you have the skill untrained, so uh, it's it's really bad because that's a huge penalty. But at this moment, Arthorn is the only one that actually knows who the deity is. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the deity is Lissa. Uh, I god so, of yeah. raiding. Um, Arthorn's gonna speak up. So, do you come from the land where there are no trees? I've heard of this place. Translator. Uh, automatically translate, it's fine. Okay, someone's translating. <laughs> I'll translate. Thanks. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll let him know it's none of his business what my past is and what I did. All he needs to know is that something terrible happened and I had to leave. Uh, Arthur's just going to say, I wasn't attempting to judge you on your past. I was just curious since you know you have it marked on your body. Uh, I'll let him know I still pray to this god, and I'll say, uh, I still worship this god, and it brings me great fortune in battle. Whatever brings you, whatever, uh, well, whatever helps you sleep through the night, I will pass no judgment. Okay. Other than that, is there anything else anyone is wanting to partake in today before leaving for the fourth day? Narp? Nope. No. Nope. Good. Alright. Go ahead and give me geography and survival. Guidance. Can I uh, assist kind of obliquely by flying up and giving them a report of what I see? Oh, yeah. Did those birds ever come and contact us? Those birds have not come to contact you at all. Dude, if there's no, uh, if there's no animals around, chances are there's probably nothing around. I'll give him an assist on survival. Success. Oh my god. 14. Yo, that perception, though. So. Alright. Uh, between Arthorn and Aval, uh, kind of reporting the situation and Aval guiding everyone. Or, sorry. Arthorn guiding everyone through the terrain. You're easily able to make it to. Uh, what do you call it? A 
new clearing to where you're quite certain you haven't been here before. Um, and, and you're pretty sure that the uh, cave will be somewhere in the area. You guys had to take a little bit of a trip around to avoid a cliff, but um, the river is just to just to east of you as you are right now. Time of day is... Uh, it is still day. It's probably about noonish. Oh, okay. So. Are these cut down trees? Is that what that is? Uh, no. no. They're trees. Oh, okay. As you can tell, there are shadows on the ground. So uh, that, that's what it's that like is. It's like canopy. Yeah, it's like canopy. Yeah. Uh, I'm so. just gonna start uh, spreading out here. Well, so before we do, a Thorn, would you concur that it's somewhere maybe alongside the, these cliffs? Maybe along, is there any uh, like a mountain north of us that we could see past the trees? Um, it would most likely be wiser to just send Duval forward since he can actually see. Good point. And he could be stealthy. Yeah. And he could fly. <laughs> I'll <laughs> and, you know, do this time. Alright. Gonna go ahead and end the tavern music there. Yeah, bye. Pull myself there in case we get there. Fight. Can I get a uh, shift click? Yes. All right, so I'm gonna fly up, and I'm gonna fly forward. Is it the middle of the day? What time of the day? It's, yeah, it's about noon. Shit, I like the night. So I look over to the group, and uh, I'm gonna ask them before I can like, lift off. Well, judging by my eyesight, I might be selfish to say, but. I prefer the darkness over this bright, easy to see enemies um, kind of daytime. Does anybody have any qualms with fighting at night? Uh, In the meantime, I'm a, I can quickly. How do it. bad is all of our eyesight at night? Because if we can't well, see human, again, humans are trash. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna pipe up and say I, I hate fighting at night. I can't see my foe. And they see us just as well as we see them, so... Yeah, but they're all lupins, so they can just smell us. Yeah. That too. Yeah, so, fighting at night, just going to point this out, they do have a very clear advantage from what you guys have noted. See? <laughs> oh, yeah. see, okay. Well, well, didn't know that. Alright, fuck me, okay. So, I'm, I'm gonna remember the fact that I just fought to the best. Recent my comment, and uh, I'm gonna take to the air. Uh, Josh, is the water drinkable with that roll? Oh yes. Oh 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 oh. Did I miss a roll for that? I did. Twenty-five. Okay. Yes, the water is quite drinkable. It is very clean. Cool. Mm. Lots, lots of stuff in my way. Okay, fly to the next tree. All right. I'm sorry, I was a little slow on typing that, but uh, back when you were over here, you spotted some plants that looked. Quite unfamiliar.
Babe, where are you going? Water's to the left. It's water down here. <laughs> it's right. It's right here. <laughs> Chill. Thank you. So I'm flying back. So I fly back and I, uh, I land. <laughs> <clears throat> and I look over to the group. I have spotted the entrance of the cave. Uh, then let's go. I have spotted the entrance of the cave. It is northeast from our position. It's probably, I would say, at least 500 yards from here. Maybe further. Uh, what are we waiting for then? Let's go kill it's these bitches. It's not a long bitches. walk. There's nothing in between us. I didn't see any traps from my position up in the trees. Just be wary on the ground, of course. Alright, I'll take my crossbow. Uh, I'm gonna start making my way So I'm just there. gonna fly tree to tree so people can follow me. Alright. Oh, Jesus. Just try not um, to get two separated guys in case we get ambushed. Right, again, uh, gonna go ahead and point this out. Anyone who is in sight of this does see this. There are some plants over here that uh, do not look quite normal. You say where? Uh, like, I, I don't see it. Like, can you... Here? Okay, there you go. There you go. Uh, okay, so I... Oh. I, I Straight north of us. I, mo I motion over to the group to uh, stop moving. Oops. And then I point in this direction. I roll a knowledge nature for the plant. Oh, those plants. <laughs> uh, I'm okay, so the survival to see the camouflage. So the first plant is Loris. Uh, well, or for the plants that you're currently making the check on. It's a plant that when mixed into a potion can heal for 1d2 plus 2 hit points. And it appears to be as if it is in quite a quite an abundant amount growing near the river. I like some of that. Does it seem so like it's I cultivated? Up, I and uh, I want to see if there's anything in it. So she's great. I look over to Aval. Loose an arrow into the bush. Fair enough. So I, I got a distance here. Oh yeah, we're good. Perfect. And I loot an arrow. And if I don't hit a fucking bush, I quit. <laughs> <laughs> Miss. I oh, think I hit the bush. The bush catches on fire <laughs> and explodes. Yeah, you had an inevit up. inevitable strike on it? He wants to hit that bush, apparently. Got, got, it was oh, a, thir yeah, it was a 39. It was a 39. I turned it off. My bad. Sorry. It's still a critical. What does it matter? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. You split a leaf in two. Yeah. Alright. All right. So you managed to bones. fire the arrow and snake it in such a f manner that it doesn't even damage the plant. Uh, nothing scatters out of it at all or anything like that. Okay, I, I look over. Safe for approach. I'll continue north. Slowly. Siri, come with me. Uh, hang on. Shouldn't we not, like, split yeah. up too much? I want to tell the party to wait till our healer gets back. Um, and so I'm up in the tree and I'm just gonna, like, I'm staying here for now. Keeping it on. go. Sorry, go ahead. go ahead. Keeping an eye on this bush. I'm gonna go ahead and roll uh, knowledge nature for this one. And Josh, how much can I uh, put down in my inventory of this? Are you going to try to harvest it? Go ahead and give me either your herbalist check or survival. 
do I want to give the uh, get, oh, oh. Oh. oh and she makes a fucking elixir of life <laughs> elixir, Re elixir of mortality. resurrection <laughs> all right you were able to gather 33 from this plant specifically so yeah thank you okay so um, all these people to stay here fly over here. yeah um by the way it is a plant that requires it to be mixed to be useful okay mixed in water uh just like like mixed alchemical like it, like it, liquor. yeah you, you pretty much just turn it into a liquid it doesn't take very long you should be able to like you um given the fact that you have an alchemy kit you should be able to do it in about 10 minutes okay thank you so i'm just gonna quickly grab a couple leaves from this one and fly back to her and give it to her oh uh, i don't if know you would like uh, you can go ahead and attempt a knowledge check for it, knowledge nature, or you can attempt a herbalism check since... Or survival. Your choice. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Eva. So, herbalist. Okay. This is Juzum. It's a very rare healing herb. Okay, so I, I fly back. Well, you wouldn't know that. You'd have to get your <laughs> attention. Know, I, I, you have to get your attention. You want to call to Aval since it's very rare? Um, yes, Aval. Um, where did you find this? I want to get some of this too. So I said it's a, it's across the, it's in the middle of the river. I'll get it. So I fly back, and um, well, before I fly, is it poisonous of any kind to the touch? I think you've been poisoned. Just, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just extremely delicate. Extremely delicate? I was going to try and uproot it. Okay. <laughs> Bad -ass. I knew it! I knew he was going to try and uproot it. I was like, oh, oh that's not my decks. Okay, so I'm going to go over, and since I have a scythe, and scythe you can use for harvesting. I'm gonna <laughs> it was like a uh, scythe, bro? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to use that to try and gather. So, I don't know what you want me to roll for that. Uh, survival, Dex. Since it's delicate, that's true. Yeah, go ahead and yeah, go ahead and try to roll uh, a dexterity melee attack. So alternate melee. Oh, I was just gonna take twenty. I'll just do that. Oh, take twenty. That works too. I will take twenty because I'll fuck this up. Okay, so I take twenty. You were able nice. to gather. Seven doses of it, with the, like without harming the plant. Uh, you have a feeling that if you continue to try to harvest anything, you'll injure the plant more. Well, I wouldn't want to piss off the druid that speaks no common. So I'm gonna. Have he doesn't to... know you're gonna fuck up the plant, dude. <laughs> all right, I give her what I. This is all I can muster. Thank okay. You. Thank you so much. So, and to answer your question on these two over here, they were both Loris as well. Uh, Liam. He'll be right back. Uh, to answer your question earlier on the two other plants that were growing near the river, they were both Loris as well. Okay. <laughs> So, if Siri wants to try to, uh, if Siri wants to try to, uh, what do you call it, uh, gather from both of those, she can. Okay. I, I think I have enough for now, let's go back to the party. Alright. Um, were you wanting to spend the ten minutes to mix those into usable potions, by the way? Yes, please. Okay. So go ahead and give me a alchemy check. Did I make one it one moment. I rolled a 26. For what? I rolled to climb into this tree of a ball. Oh, okay. Yes, you should be able to do that quite easily. Yeah. 
And, okay. And, yes, after spending a few minutes of alchemy, you were definitely able to mix them all into usable potion. Okay, thank you. So, boom. All right. Uh, do you need to do you need the exact descriptions for them at all? Yes, whenever you have time. All right. I will just go ahead and post it in the uh, in the chat here. Thank you. All right. And so that one is for the Loris. And. That one is for the Jusum. So I. Thank you. Oh, damn. Now I'm getting scared. Because if he's giving <laughs> us this kind of shit before we go into a fight. <laughs> that moment, we're just, gonna wreck, we're just gonna wreck everybody in this fight, too. Up until we come to the boss and we're like, oh, he used all our spells yeah. and our abilities. Here's a fun fact <laughs> I'll just save my knockout for the biggest guy we encounter. <laughs> <laughs> All I have to do is land one hit and announce I'm doing it before I go to hit. And then you, like, crit fail and hit yourself. <laughs> and <laughs> knocking yourself out. Dude, oh, that, you crit that would be amazing. Hit Siri. Oh, man, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> just I'm like... gonna shoot those other two bushes just to get things. Which bushes? The ones north, further north, I think. He oh, okay. Uh, Siri, are you ready? Uh, yes, yes, I'll follow you. Jeez, man, the attack rolls on you right now. What the fuck? I'll take him for a bush. <laughs> <laughs> right. Rolls fours when we actually get in combat. Sad face. <laughs> Please don't jinx it. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna use my... I'm gonna use my cap of human guys to turn into a little girl again. Alright. I think you have a problem, man. Uh, yeah. Okay. They'll say that until they decide to shoot all their arrows at me. So. Uh, you lose a couple arrows into the bushes and nothing comes out. Alright. So I, uh, I look over, safe to continue, and I'm going to keep flying forward. I'm going to move forward. And before I leave, I'm going to remind them to like, check their footing to make sure there are no traps underneath. Is this the bush you were talking about right here? Yeah. Sorry. Right. This yeah, is like the bushy. cave entrance, entrance thing, or... No, it's oh, just no. a bushy shot oh, in area. Oh, we're still going up here. I, I think we're just going this way because we assume the cave's over here. Yeah, I said it's over here. Oh, well, yeah. Okay, then oh. next one. We're, we're following the bird. Uh, Alright. Uh, 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 Yorn and Draws, I need both of you to make a will save. Uh, I fucking told you. You could have announced something earlier. Uh, one second. I gotta find it. Hey, look at that. Oh, damn. 18. Alright, let me just, uh... I'm hanging. Double check this real quick. If it's a falling right trap, I have boots of the cat. <laughs> no, no, it, <laughs> it's another rock! You made a will save, not a reflex save. Oh, fuck. It means yeah. it's magical. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> My saves don't help. Okay. We're about to get fucked up real good. Baby, you can move a little closer. Okay, so... by 3,000 arrows. Both Bjorn and Dra uh, Draz, you have an unnatural urge uh, rush over you. You feel extremely calm and want to walk towards this tree. You're enchanted. Uh, yeah, but you don't know that. And, and I the tree it makes me want to climb it. I really want to climb that tree. Can I make any kinds of saves oh, God, to prevent this? You just did. Willpower. Oh, yep. true. 
I can't do anything else about it. You guys it. can't uh, just, like, grab us? Yeah, is no what, one gonna try and save the two idiots so walking towards the tree? So just start walking towards the tree? Talking about how much we're gonna grab it. Stop, 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 Evolve, I'm going to need you to make a will save. <laughs> stop walking into it! <laughs> okay. <laughs> nom 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 nom. Alright. Hold on. Cool. Oh! oh God. You really like the tree. Alright, you have an urge to slowly glide towards the ground and sleep underneath the tree. Can I sense something? It sounds like something I might be able to sense. Magical or something. Well, you haven't we, seen. We could, we could ask him why they're going towards the tree instead of a cave. So, guys, Should, what are you doing? Shouldn't that be a so nice. I'm climbing the tree. Another. I just really <laughs> like this tree. How long does this last? Forget the tree. Check out the cave. It lasts four. A second. Four hours. Four what? days. Last until it becomes Ten stone. minutes. Um, cool. Yeah. Hmm. So, I don't know what they're doing by that tree. As you all get closer to the tree, I'm gonna go ahead and need to roll initiatives now. Oh, shit. Oh, oh fuck, it's on! It's a tree, isn't it? Or a nymph. Uh, the, oh, it's worse. Can I step it's, it's back worse. from the tree a little bit at least? Unfortunately, no. Another like, 16. God damn it. You're trying to climb the oh, tree. 25. Yeah, Good. I tried to climb the tree. Is that an issue? Yeah. Oh, no, that was intelligence. I'm so well, at least the tree has low initiative. <laughs> Wait, it rolled? Oh, I mean, damn it. It, it, rolled. it rolled an 8. Oh, I, I didn't uh, see that. I'm going to fuck this tree right up good. I rolled a fucking 2. Does anyone you... have a flint and steel? <laughs> Can you choke I, I a tree? Do. I don't Look, know. I okay. Really? So no. he's gotta cut all its leaves off and then it can't. It is Wait. surprise round right now, and the tree oh. does have surprise. Alright. I tried to climb the tree. Well, the tree would even help us against the tree that's trying to. <laughs> Nigga! Nigga! <laughs> I don't know, you're just some crazy elf that knocks to the dirt. You talk to dirt and Byron. What, what do you dirt. want from Okay, so and just going in order here. Bjorn, what is your flat-footed AC? I'll have to look. I don't know off the top of my head. What's it under defense? Yep. Yes. Uh, token and roll initiative. Twelve. Okay. Um, a ball and draws. Click on your token and roll initiative. She can do it in her thing. That's where I did it. Yeah, but she has to have her token selected. Right. There you go. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. Well, the healer gets to go first. Good. You can always uh, delay, babe. You can always delay. Actually, no, uh... People don't forget surprise rounds, so... That other guy, uh... Either run in or... So, yeah. Man, Ball and draws. Man. What are both of your, uh, flat-footed ACs, by the way? Oh, my flat foot is... Two, Ten. Uh, twenty. Okay. Nice. So Five. as you guys are sitting Five. calmly underneath the tree and walking towards it, a couple of the vines on the tree begin to move and slowly wrap themselves around. I still look like a little girl. Does that help any? No, it's maybe this not tree has feelings. <laughs> uh, they try and like constrict us or what? Draws get pulled closer. Oh, it, it fully has you guys grappled and Question. everything. I have escape artists. Yeah, hang on. Um, you guys are enthralled at the moment. You're not. Oh. That was what I was gonna ask. We can't do anything. <laughs> yep. You love this tree. And that will end the tree's turn. Alright. 
Uh, Vaughn, it is your turn. Okay, I don't believe I've ever seen a tree move like that, so I'm gonna try and identify it and think, what the hell is that? So, 25. What the hell is that? that? Is a That's a swim. <laughs> <laughs> it's a what? You roll for swim. Oh, I, sw I swim away. Alright, let's try again. 23. <laughs> I swim towards it. Apparently, Vaughn is charmed too. <laughs> Alright. So, you are quite confident that this is not. Um, you, you, you are quite confident that uh, this isn't your typical plan. It is a creature. Uh, I probably should have rolled nature then. Damn. Yep. Alright, so swift action, because I used already an action, I'll activate um, probably judgment. Uh, I, I, like, I, I will give you this much though. Um, you would probably uh, rate this plant as the carnivorous type. Oh. Alright, so fire. Lots of fire. Alright, guys, this thing <laughs> eats people. We should burn it down. Lies. Lies. I love the tree. Tree's life. <laughs> Alright, clearly they are intoxicated still, so <laughs> we'll fix them later. I'm done. Okay. Siri. I'm gonna delay action. Alright. Of all. Oh. You are presently in trance. <laughs> I don't get a fucking will save. Unfortunately, it gives you one will save and that's all. Damn. It's right, a quick well, question. Would it be common knowledge for my druid to know about uh the this. tree or no <laughs> not particularly but you can make a knowledge nature check for it okay and hopefully tell me what the fuck it is <laughs> so i know how to kill it all right it is a hangman's tree uh they're very com very commonly uh, known for Essentially, uh, devouring their victims whole. They typically use vines in order to capture their uh, prey and are also known for emanating spores out to a very large radius that entrance and enthrall their victim. Okay. Um... Thorn, do you know what to do with that type of tree? This tree has seen a lot of death next to it, and now is lashing back. Um, the only way I can think that we might be able to reason with it, because yes, it is sentient, we may have to give it meat for meat. Uh, Are there any fish in this nearby river? Uh, yes, there are most definitely fish up there. We may want to consider Fisher Archer. The train. Yeah. Um, no. Yeah. Um, that's not a problem. I can grab some fish. Um, don't get too close to it, and see if you can. Uh, yeah, I would say just don't don't get too close to it. I'm gonna go ahead and move over here. I'm gonna go ahead and cast Thorn Javelin, and attempt to. Um, Oops, wrong one. I'm going to cast uh, Thorn Javelin. And I'm going to go ahead and try to... Um, okay, because how many... Can I, I can only throw one per turn, right? Yeah. One per turn. So I'm going to go ahead and throw one and try to get a fish. Right. You are more, most definitely able to uh, bury yourself a fish. Okay. Size? How are you gonna, how are you gonna get it to it now? Well, we want to make sure we have um, enough. That it would... is a ten-pound fish. 
Okay, we need enough that would that would um, satisfy the tree. We probably need somewhere around uh, up at least a hundred pounds. So I need to catch some more. Go ahead and do your best. And I'll end my turn. All right. And I apologize for this. I did not realize this, but uh, I'm gonna jump back to a vault right quick for a moment. I reread through the ability just to make sure. Go ahead and make a will save. Yeah, I thought that was a little weird. Okay. Yeah, uh, you get a will save if they've attacked you with their vines, and he did. So. Okay. There are we fuck. You are very aware of what's going on right now. <laughs> so I wake the fuck up. <laughs> you are presently grappled, though. So. Okay. So I'm just gonna start yelling to my buddies, and uh, I'm gonna see if I can break free. All right. Go ahead and roll for that. Is that escape artist or CMD? No. He can roll <laughs> escape <laughs> artist, CMD, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. And I'm gonna oh oh my god. What the fuck? A oh. oh, plus 10. Okay, that makes sense. I was gonna say, what the fuck uh, is that? Is that 219? One second. Oh my god, 219s, bro. Please. You are able to escape its grasp. Okay, so I escape his grasp. And, uh. So does that make me immune to this spore thing? No. Uh, no. The, on his turn again, you'll have, you'll end up having to make a will save. Okay, so can I, like, fuck, well, technically a retreat or whatever it's called back? Oh, or, double move? Uh, withdraw? Yeah. Withdraw. Yeah! Okay, so my ass is gonna withdraw super fast. Back. <laughs> <laughs> like, here. Fly. If the, if flying doesn't work, I'm gonna run. <laughs> All right, I think I think we're good. And then I'm gonna fucking book it. All right. Just, I'm gonna, like flap a couple times and land right here. Okay. And then I kind of I fill them in on what happened. Okay. That's it. Draw. I'm done. Go ahead and make your will save. Uh, nice try, though. <laughs> you are still so in trance. I'll make my will save. Hang on. I swear to God, if I get eaten 20. by a fucking tree. <laughs> <laughs> Is that good enough? You, you are very aware of what's going on right now. Alright, I'm gonna try and escape parties my way out of here too. Uh twenty nine. Oh my god, these escape artists save. <laughs> to nice. be fair, I get some mad mad assists out of that one. So you are able to slip out of the vine. Can I attempt to grab Drowse? You can attempt to, yeah. What would that be? Well, you're Just trying to grapple. free him, technically, yeah, so, and, yeah. because you're trying to actually rip stuff off him, I would say either a strength check, you can, or if you're just trying to grab him and pull him out, grapple check. Uh, uh I'll give you a grapple check there, man. Uh, that one. 33. Cool. Alright, you definitely are able to grab him, and are you attempting to try to pull him out? Yeah, I'm gonna try and pull us back. How far can I move? Just 30 feet since I'm dragging him? Or... It's half movement because you're uh, yeah. you're actually attempting to drag somebody. Alright, I'll attempt to drag us just... I'm gonna drag us towards the cave. Well, it'd be 15 feet from your location. Yeah. Because that was Draw's Drag location, yeah. I'm dragging mm -hmm. us towards the cave. So as you attempt to get away, a vine wraps around you as you get right here. Alright, did I get jazz with me? Yeah, alright. Yep, and as you, like, yeah, vines wrap around both, 
you tried moving <laughs> through threatened space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, like, uh, I'm gonna roll an intimidate check right quick against the tree. <laughs> I'm gonna yell, Fuck you, you goddamn bark! Bark! Fine! Snaring tree! I'm a bear! <laughs> I'm a- I will piss on you! Uh, I rolled a 29. Do I intimidate the tree? Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> please, Where the please, fuck please. is- <laughs> Does it have the enough intelligence? Not... <laughs> just Actually, it. come to think about it, uh, let, let's take a look real quick. Uh, no, it doesn't. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I it, think it's, it's intelligence is high enough uh, to be intimidated. I can't do anything else, right? No, I don't think so, no. so I'm done. Okay. Amrin. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go over here. Would I be able to like hit a fish or anything like that with my weapon? You have a long yeah, you spear. Can, you can make it a long spear, right? Uh, yeah, actually, I can. So I'm gonna change the shape of my weapon into a long spear, and I'm going to attempt to catch a fish. Don't worry about changing the damage or anything like that because it's literally like, like it's not an actual attack, so I don't think it needs to be yeah, changed. Yeah, you're really only like change like like it's using the same attack roll no matter what you do. So All go ahead and right. make the attack roll. See if you fear yourself a fish. And yes, you are most definitely able to spear yourself a fish. <laughs> All right. What's the size of the fish? All right. Oh, whoops. I for some reason typed in. It is a fourteen pounder. Jesus Christ! You guys catch some big ass fucking fish. Yay! Right. We're at twenty four pounds, boys. You need to do. Never mind. And that'll. Be the end of my turn. Okay, can I do my turn? Oh, before? Yes, you can. Okay. I don't know if this is right or not, but here we it's go. Right. Um, I'm gonna move up within, or so it's I'm 40 feet back from the tree. Okay, go ahead and move to your location. You need to go around. Use the other token. You're using the you're using the measurement token. There yeah. you go. It's because you're stuck in the wall. Can you move her out of the wall right quick? Yes. <laughs> yep. Thank here. you. Is that where she was trying to go? I want to go right here. And then um, I wanted to cast Spark. All right, as you go into this area, I need you to make a will save. Okay. Too close. Fail. Not one. Defense. Will. I'm looking for it, sorry. Defense yeah. tab. Will. She should have high wisdoms. Oh, yeah, she, she, she should be fine, but... You never know. Still gotta make sure. It's under defenses. Yeah, it's like the second tab. All right, and you are not affected by the spores at all. And then I want to cast spark at the tree. Piss it off. That's a good idea. Well, hell, it might leave you alone. Sure. I was gonna shoot it next round anyway, so. <laughs> so, as you cast spell, the uh, what do you call it? The tree ignites on fire. Jesus, I think it got on fire. No, I oh, dragged that, you away. That was like really late. Like I hit play a while ago. <laughs> like okay. 
And that, uh, um, and I can't move anymore, right? Nope. Uh, okay, that ends my turn then. Very calm and serene environment, like like no combat music or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Alright. <laughs> Just getting killed by a tree. Nope. <laughs> uh, okay. There's no music in real life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm calm anyway. Unless you got a bard, bitch. Bitch. <laughs> Alright. Uh, <laughs> oh wow, and... Marvin, I didn't even realize how close our fucking initiative rolls were. Pull! And draws, holy cow. Okay. Uh, do we need to roll, roll oh. again? Uh, I'm no. Still... Well, uh, yes, actually, both of you need to roll. I'm, I'm still under the effect. Well, if you're still under the effect, then it's fine. Fuck. <laughs> just, just turn the fuck around, like, okay, let's go! Alright. Uh, Northern. The tree begins to pull you back towards it. Same for you, we, Bjorn. We broke the vines, though. What are you talking about? It grabbed you when you started trying to escape, remember? Oh, yeah. Alright, and that will... end... His turn? Vaughn, it is your turn. Alright, Vaughn looks over his shoulder, he sees three of his friends fishing, while two more are about, about to be eaten by a tree. He'll do the responsible thing and shoot it. A tree that's now on fire. Yeah, there you go. Thank oh, you. speaking of which, thank you for reminding me. God damn it, now I'm gonna get burned, aren't I? Oh, no, I forgot to roll basic fire damage real quick. Oh, tree. All right, so All right. does a 26 hit, hopefully. A 26 does hit. All right. And I can't use another action to do a nature check, so that's it. So you aim down sights with your crossbow and you shoot the tree. Probably doing very little damage <laughs> to a tree that's already on fire. All right, that's it. Okay. And Siri, it is your turn. Okay, um I want to run towards the guys fishing. I I forgot how mu how far I can go to them. 30 feet or you 30. Can Let's get some actual like kind of combat me here. What would combat music sound like if you were fighting a fighting a tree, the wind blowing, basically just mm -hmm. chain, chainsaws in the distance? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna uh, run 30 feet away, and I'm going to say, guys, the tree. It's on, I shot it on fire. It grabbed two. It grabbed draws and Jorn, and you guys do something. Ends my turn. All right. Of all, it is your turn. All right. So, hold on. Let me see what I got here. How many vines, approximately, are holding? Uh, draw. Alright, uh, as far as you can tell, it only appears to be a single vine, but it is wrapped very, very tight. How thick is this vine? It's rather thick. Uh, it would be very difficult to sever it if that was your uh, goal. I I'd probably say, uh, if, if you were to estimate its thickness, this thing... It's probably about as thick as a very large snake. Alright, that ain't gonna happen. Does it seem to have a head? It's a bunch of vines. Say, sorry, say again? Does it have a head, or is it a bunch of vines? Sorry, sorry, again? Does it have a head? Like, you keep on cutting out for me, like, on my end, like... 
He said, does it have a head or what was the second part? Oh, the vine, does it have a head? Yeah. Does this no, no, no. It's just a bunch of vines? Yes. All right. Okay. Um, is Draws like, conscious, right? Like, is he like all. He's conscious of what's going on? Or is he just. He's I'm conscious, so he's still not aware. aware. He's not aware? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even if you free me, I will go nowhere. I know, right? I just think it's a really nice tree. We should all yeah. sit under it. We really like this. We should really sit under the tree. Okay, you all so should really. Come. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask someone to give me like, give me some oil, and I'm gonna use my move action to take out a vial and an arrow, and I'm gonna use some rope and tie a vial around an oil-soaked arrow. The tree's already on fire. <laughs> it's on. Um, I have something. I, I don't have any. I didn't buy any more oil. I should have. Okay. So. I have. I have something in my in my herb bag. Okay. So I get everything ready, and then essentially, uh, do I have enough action to since I'm forfeiting my move action? Forfeiting your move action is literally just to get the vial out. The rest of that is something that. Standard. Would take, yeah, I'll would take your that. standard action to do. You should have. Okay, well, I'll take a five foot step here. It's like heaven on the. Oh shit. Awesome. Okay. I want to blame it more. I don't know. Alright, then I tell, uh, I tell Siri to come up, like, to give it to me, and then that's it. Here you go. Okay, I'm good. Next turn. Okay. And Arthur, your turn. I'm going to attempt to get a another fish. Um. And yeah, I'm gonna attempt to get another fish right quick. Okay. And Jesus! Know the weight. Mind. Okay, so you are able to spear yourself another fish with Thorn Javelin. It is 12 pounds. Okay, so we're at 36 pounds. Um, I'm gonna ask uh, Armin to hand me the fish he got. Is that an immediate action? I'm assuming so. It's on his spear. He can probably just fling it off. Like I'm, I'm assuming you guys are like unspearing these things as you're catching. Okay, cool. All right, I'm gonna. Yeah, that's what I was thinking as okay. well. I'm gonna take a five foot shift to um, of all. I'm gonna say, uh, of all, offer these to the tree or force feed them to him if necessary. With your with your arrow, if possible. Or, or, no, no, never mind. Sorry, sorry. Uh, attempt uh, to... Um, yeah, attempt to give them to... Or uh, offer it to the tree. And that'll end my turn. All right. Gerard. Go ahead and make a will save. Oh, boy. Here's for the church of the tree. You are no longer aware of what is going on. You or, or sorry, sorry, you are now aware of what is actually going on. You've been grappled, so you actually get a bonus for the tree attacking you. Funny enough. Oh, neat. So you, yeah, you, you're kind of like looking down and realize that you're entangled. Oh. 
this, this tree isn't what it was all cracked up to be, was it? Have you been giving him the plus two racial bonus mind affecting? Unfortunately, it's not a mind affecting ability. What? Yeah. Okay. Uh. Like, it's not mind affecting at all. I'm guessing I'm going to want to free myself, so. Uh, what is it? Combat maneuver or strength gapers? I gave you strength, can I? Yeah. Yes. You can do a strength check to see if you can break out of it, or you can do a CMD check to see if you can get out of it. All right. Unfortunately, your show of strength does not seem to be improving your odds at all. You are still entangled. Uh, can I do anything else, or is that it? That would be it. All right, you then. Someone get me the hell out of this. <laughs> okay, it's gonna. I'm gonna drag us into the cave. You're still. Fuck your. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I rolled a seven. Yep. You're like God praised the tree. So. uh... Oh. So, Draws, when, when, when you look over, like, like, like he is just kind of, like, loopy out of it, like, just kind of, like, like, happy around the tree. Oh, please don't tell me this is what I was like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are we compelled to defend the tree or anything? Uh, or are we no, just, you, like, entranced? No, you, you're, like, entranced and basically believe it to be your friend. Oh, okay. Uh, insane. <laughs> Other than that, you're like insanely calm and everything like that. It, it, it it's pretty funny. Standing next to a burning tree that's trying to eat. Yeah, how how much on fire is this tree at the moment? It is not too on fire, but it is burning slowly. Okay. All right. Amrin. Uh, just quick okay. thing before that. Um. I'm actually gonna hold on to the three fish myself in my uh, left hand. Uh, please continue. I, I, I didn't give them to a vault. Okay. Amarin, it is your uh, turn. Yeah, I'm gonna catch another fish. Because I'm not sure what else I can do to help, so. Fishing it is. This one, unfortunately, is only a two-pound fish. I caught a baby. <laughs> Alright, that'll end my turn. Alright, since you are no longer under its spell there, Draws, I need you to go ahead and make a will save. Do I get one? Oh, you're already enthralled. You uh, are still aware of what is happening. I damn this tree. Alright, uh, you feel its grip starting to tighten around as it deals 10 damage. Ugh. And, Bjorn, you are pulled close. Alright. Bjorn's health is not showing up, by the way. Not? Nope. I just noticed that, actually. <laughs> okay. Is it now? Yep. Okay. Okay. Man, th th this fire is getting the best of this tree right now. <laughs> Thank God. And seriously, it's rolled max damage every time. That will end the tree's turn. All right. Um, between Bajor and Draz, which one seems to be fighting off, if any of them? Draz seems to be fighting it off more right. than Bjorn. All right. I'm going to call shot the vines holding uh, Draz, since I doubt a fucking bolt will do much damage to a tree. You should chop it down. With <laughs> what? My hammer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to re-roll that. Don't hit me with the ball. <laughs> there we go. Alright. So you fire your bolt 
and you hit the vines, uh, what do you call it, the vines attached to you that are encircling draws, and you can hear a nice juicy smack as it just kind of impales the uh, vine. Uh, draws, you can feel a slight little prick as the tip of it comes out the other end, but it doesn't do any damage. Did I mention these are poison dip? Well, that's a. Uh, it's a good thing I'm wearing armor. Yeah. Let's see, that's two shots. So I got three left. Alright, that's it. Alright, Siri. I'm going to delay action at this point. Alright. A ball. Okay, so. Fish, right? Trying to do what now? I said I never got the fish, right? Correct. Alright, so I have whatever oil uh, was given to me from Siri, which I'm hoping is flammable. And I'm going to ready an action an action and tell someone like light this arrow and like prepare a shot essentially so I'm like ready my arrow and telling someone to light this on fire alright can I use my turn to cast spark on it uh you could alright so, cool so then I'm just gonna shoot Okay, then I'm gonna use my turn. Um, can I do that now? Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. yeah. So okay. Go ahead and link me the spell and give me your spell attack. Okay. Ooh. No. So as you cast spark on, you like like you're you're looking at it and trying to get this thing to light on fire and it just won't light on fire. Okay, so I'm going to keep my shit ready. Ends my turn. Alright. Uh, is that going to end your turn for now as well, Lavol? Yeah, I'm just ready in action. Alright. Uh, Arthur. Uh, Arthorn. Let me, let me check my equipment right quick. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, oh god, nope, that was not what I wanted to do, hold on, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, as I'm moving my 30 feet, I'm gonna go ahead and cast my flint and steel to, um, to light the arrow with my survival check. Alright. I need you to make a will save. Okay. Uh, stop. Make it stop. <laughs> oh God. You are enthralled. <gasps> Worship the tree. Welcome to the tree. So you you did like like you did say you were wanting to toss the flint and steel to him and everything like that. So. You are able to do that before you end up stepping into the area of the spores. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then I shoot my arrow. So it's a it's an arrow that was like like on fire, covered in oil, or whatever. and then as it hits, the idea is that the vial that was tied to it explodes. Unfortunately, the material she gave you only makes things slippery or greasy. It wasn't necessarily a flammable oil. Flammable, yeah. Does it well, does it do cover I, me and draws? It, it's over um, draws. Uh, I told you I'm covered in fuel. Like so a burning tree. Well, it's not flammable. <laughs> 
No, but what was in the vial wasn't that flammable. No. No, no, no oh, what was in the God. vial oh, was okay. not oh, okay. flammable. Wait, it, so I'm slippery. Correct. Yes, you're slippery. It gives you an increased escape artist. Yep. Oh, it should give you time to a slide plus away two. like plus slide two. Away oh boy, I've got a minus slide. one escape artist now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, does that end the remainder of your turn? Uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Of yes. all, and Arthur? Yes. Yeah. Lots of delaying there. Alright. Draws. Fight. Oh, boy. Um. You can always try and strength check your way out of it again. I, I, I'm thinking about doing it. Well, that's really your only option here. Well, well use that for combat might maneuver. Be, might be easy too, since I shot on the vines. Hopefully. Hopefully <laughs> or it's made it harder. God, <laughs> God takes that into account. Uh. Hmm. Can I just combat maneuver try and get out of this? Yeah. Okay, we'll try that instead of strength. See if this works. Unfortunately, you are unable to escape from the tree. It's a fucking tree. God damn it. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna pull this tree with my ungodly grapple You're check. You're still I... worshipping the tree. If I will check my way out of it at some point in life. Alright, that ends my turn as I curse the stamped tree. Try and intimidate it. Okay, so Yorn Yorn Fucking kidding me. <laughs> you are still in roll. Sounds Amarin. Alright, so you said we needed needed like a hundred pounds of fish or something? Oh, about a hundred. Yeah. Alright. We're at 36 um, right now. Alright, then I'm just gonna catch another fish. Hello? Hi. Hi. Uh, okay, so sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, so. Ooh, okay, so. Slash. Nice roll. Thank you. 2,000 pounds. You have caught an 8 pound fish. Alright. And. Yeah, that, that's my turn. Alright. Okay, so draws, I need you to make another will save. Fucking ah, Do I get one? Oh, wait, no. You I are. are enthralled. Yep, you are enthralled. Three. Okay. Oh, nice. Why did I struggle? <laughs> um, on top of that, the vines begin to strict even tighter around both. Draws and Yorn. Yorn, you take 12 points damage. Alright. And Draws, you take 13 points damage. It's racist. It hates non plant people. Humans are taking less damage. Vaughn, <laughs> <laughs> it is your turn. Okay, um, I'm gonna do a knowledge uh, nature check to see what, if, what what bane I need to use to kill this thing. All right. Uh, let's see, nature, nature, nature. That's fifteen. It's a plan. Fair. <laughs> My God. All right. Enough. Lift action bane plant. 
<laughs> oh, and that's it. All right, Siri, it is your turn. Is it still on fire? <laughs> the only one we're doing real damage. Yes. <laughs> is the fire spreading at all? Very, very slowly, but yes, it is spreading. If, if we had oil, we could just grab it from above. And get some more mind control again. Yeah, it'd be good. Well, I can only go hot so high. Um, not speaking. He down. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to delay action for now. Okay. Of all. Alright. So, where are the fish right now? Is that like the druid? Yep, the druid would be holding him, and he looks very, very happy and calm. Okay. Do I notice that he looks unnaturally calm? By this point, yeah, you guys would probably be able to tell, like, with the fact that you yourself have been in it, and... Okay. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use trick shot. What I want to do is I want to shoot to the right. I want to shoot right here. Um, hold on. I want to shoot to his right and then have the arrow wrap around him with silk. And then, uh, with trick shot? Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my quick runner shirt, which allows me to make another action once per day. I'm going to use that to wrap silk around my arrow, and I'm going to shoot that bitch. Well, actually, no. I don't even need the quick runner shirt, because I'm not going to move. So I'm, going to, I'm going to use my move action to wrap silk around the arrow really quick. And if I have to use two, then I'll use the quick runner shirt. And then I will uh, shoot using trick shot to uh, wrap an air, like wrap silk around his leg, essentially, and then pull it back in. Okay. Go ahead and make the attack roll. Alright. One sec. Come on, baby. There we go. Alright. Well, you are definitely successful. <laughs> yeah, just barely. <laughs> Jesus. So. Then again, I'm in trance, too. One of, one of my lower rolls. Sorry, Jess. <laughs> so yeah, you are uh, you are capable of wrapping the arrow around his leg. Okay, so I look over at I forgot the, uh, the person behind me. I forgot the name. Amran. Yeah, I asked him to grab hold, and then I'm just gonna start pulling. So I'm gonna use uh, what is that? Strength check. Oh, I got some strength. <laughs> okay, no, or not. So, no, okay. Arthorn, I'm going to request that you make a strength check to oppose him, since you are enthralled. Pull him in. So, you attempt to pull him, and he just kind of kicks his leg forward and shifts you five feet. Can I use my wings and fly backwards? <laughs> Yeah. Like, at this point, like, he, he has asserted his dominance and strength, like... <laughs> God damn. Alright, well, that's why we have the next turn. Alright, I'm good. Arthorn, I need you to make a will save to see if you're still enthralled. And you are not. So now we're what? questioning why <laughs> you have a fucking... What are the... What is this on my leg? So I'm oh, like, come towards me. That's what I say immediately. Actually, keep it on. I'm, I'm gonna keep it on my leg. I need to try something. One moment. Okay. I tell him I only have 50 feet. I'm not getting any closer. Ugh. Um, I do have a 50 foot rope as well. It's just I am the guy. Okay. So, I'm gonna go ahead and cast. Uh, where is it? God damn it. Talk to the dirt, see what you find. 
I'm gonna go ahead and cast Plant Voice, giving him the ability to speak with me. All right. I'm gonna give him Druidic, or uh, Sylvan. Actually, I'm sorry. I'm gonna give him Sylvan. Okay. And let me see. Do you want me to roll diplomacy to speak with him? Yes, I do. <laughs> All right. I'm going to ask him. Um, uh, or basically, I'm, I'm going to say, I understand you're out for blood. Please allow us to quench you with the fish from this river, which I'm assuming you have not yet tasted. He does not respond. Even though I know he can speak? Oh, even though you know he can speak, he does not respond. He's probably screaming silently. <laughs> okay. So ah. I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna turn around to um, uh, of all, be ready to pull me. I'm like you have ten more feet. Okay. Um, can I make a strength check to throw the fish, or a dex check to throw the fish to draws? I'm in throw. Yeah, you you can attempt it. Okay, we'll go ahead and make a dex attempt. Um, draw, uh, is draw, wait, is draw snapped out of it? He is, right? No. Nope. Tree is life. Tree is life. <laughs> I love oh, tree is life. Fuck. Yeah. Okay, never mind. I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel that then. Never mind. Come, join us. Join us at the my, tree. In my turn. Alright. Let's see this one. Draws, it is your turn. Go ahead and make a will save. Come on! Draws. Yeah! <laughs> such the a nice tree is tree. your lord and savior. <laughs> Come, bring right. your offerings. Okay, fucking your... god. Oh, wow. Come on. <laughs> oh my god. He is try He is attempting hentai at this point. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna become one with nature. Uh, okay, uh, Amrin. Has anybody ever seen the Evil Dead? Evil Dead, Evil Dead yeah. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna walk over and tie my rope to his rope. Okay, go ahead and give me a survival check to see how well you can tie that knot. Hope you used the right one. Not a slip knot. Perfect ball. Oh, yeah. You are pretty decent at this, actually. You, you tie it with no problems at all. And you're quite confident in the strength of it. Alright, and then I'm going to come back over here, and I'm going to catch another fish. <laughs> Alright. That attack roll, though. Yo. You have caught an 11 pound fish, so you now have 19 pounds over here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, for him, uh, yeah, I have 36 and he has 19. Well, there's also the 2 pound fish, I don't know if either is, if that's counted anywhere. Uh, I don't know if you, if he took that or not. No. Did you, Liam? Okay, no. then I have 21 pounds by me. Okay. And will that end your turn? That will indeed. All right. So, good. Yeah. One damn. Uh, one damn. I I I I just uh. Why can I not click on anything? Uh, duh. Might might help if I have the right marker selected. Okay. And it also might help if I threw the little burning sound out there a little bit. I hear it. Yeah. Okay. Someone drew a line? Oh. That was me. I think it's rope. <laughs> it's a rope. Yellow rope. Okay. Now, to continue on, the tree is also going to continue to constrict you. Both of you. Bjorn. 
you take 12 points of damage and draws you take 11 points of damage as the vines constrict even tighter don't forget to be tossing in your uh, penalties here oh yeah all right yes. So, Vaughn, it is your turn. I shoot the tree. I re <laughs> retry that. Much better. <laughs> Alright. Alright. So you let loose an arrow from your crossbow and... Uh, trying to think of <laughs> name Who's right that now. board right now? Arthur, me. I you can't can do hear what sounds like a large scream. Me? Yes. So right. it, it is emanating from the tree. Uh, it's completely inaudible to everyone else. Let them go, okay. yeah. They'll be bastard. Question. Whee! On the tree's last turn, shouldn't it have made Liam take another will save? Set it should have. No. Come to think about it, thank you. I, I didn't realize was, what, you, wait, wasn't that you are too. Was that before or after, though? I broke the before. No, it was, was that before or after? Her. Oh, well, my bad then. Need to make will save. Sorry about that. No, you're fine. That's my bad. My bad. Completely forgot that you were in the area. Nope. And, and he says, "Nope." Get out. Join us. Um, the tree is join us. Join us at the tree. Alright, Siri, it is your turn. Should I heal us? I. I my heal heals us. don't go that far. Well, just guide us under the tree. Just come, come closer to the tree. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice here. It's, it's warm with fire. Oh, yes, it looks lovely. Um, I'm going to delay action for now. Sorry. I think it's so funny that the two that got stuck in it, though. We wouldn't right. have been able to do anything anyway, because we're melee <laughs> fighters. <laughs> of all. It is your turn. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to verify the rope is tied. Okay. Got another 50 foot of slack. Then uh, I'm going to pass the rest of like, what's left of the rope to uh, Siri. Make sure she's holding on. And then I'm gonna, what? I'm gonna tie the rope like, uh, around my scythe once and dig it into the ground as an anchor. All to, right. To the end of it. It's gonna be great when that comes loose and takes someone's head off. I'll, I'll use a full round actually, <laughs> to make sure that Arthur it's, and uh, Will, will save, please. <laughs> All right, go ahead and give me a uh, survival check just to make sure you. High and anchor that properly. Okay. You are quite confident that you did a decent job. Plant my scythe in the ground. Tie a quick knot. Alright, that's it for me. Arthorn? So wait, did you did you give we'll me fifty more feet or no? Yes I did, and then I tied the end of that. Okay, Next okay, so you need to make sure, so you need to make sure. To an anchor. Give us a will save there, bud. He doesn't have to make a will save. He made one last. No, he's he gonna be on it. No, we gotta make. Will save is done on the tree's turn, except trees? for when you walk into it. Yeah. Oh, okay. So Arthorn's gonna move again, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and make a diplomacy check. That's terrible, and I'm gonna say. Listen, it can all end. Please, take the food we can give you and leave us in peace. And I'm going to go ahead and drop the fish uh, right in front of me so it can grab it with its vines. All right. He's new the tree. The elf was crazy. He's talking to trees. <laughs> Durr. It's just a normal tree. Well, yes. you're praising the tree right now. So. It's a wonderful tree. Join us. Sit down.
But he expects the tree to talk back. I'm just gonna put a giant beefy pile of fish here. Yeah, just just one fish, that'll work. <laughs> okay. As per the pile of fish. And does that end your turn? That does end my turn. Alright. Draws, it is your turn. Come on, twenty. Come on, Church of Tree. Oh, Church of and Tree. I only wanted Church to Church of Tree. I just wanted to put one thing on that. Um I kind of split, or kind of like, tw uh, basically, uh, the fish. I made sure that the blood is showing on the fish. That's all. Okay. All right. Draws, you are still worshiping the tree. Praise the tree. Bjorn. There you go. Oh! You have broken free from the spell. You now realize that this tree has gripped you very tightly. I, am I covered in that sweet, sweet uh, cooking grease? You are. Alright, escape artist plus two. Oh! Oh! Punching it in the dick. So, you <laughs> I'm gonna punch it out of the dick. This thing binds very easily. Alright, I'm gonna attempt to grab Jaws again. So, do we all. Do we kind of. Or, uh. He's kind of, uh. Gained Because if so, I'm gonna tell him to grab the rope. Like, All right. Yeah, you'd see that. You'd see Fucking that. Like, like, get, get back here. Or, like, hurry up or grab a rope. You are most definitely capable of grabbing draws. Are you, what are you gonna try to do now? Can I get close enough to the rope to ties to it? Is that possible? Uh, if you're trying to drag him, no. You're you've smart. You're smart enough to know that. Uh, if you try to repeat the action, the tree will get an attack against you and will probably grapple you again. Probably uh, to break its body. vines. I did break it, didn't I? You oh, no. just grabbed me. Oh, fuck yeah. Um, let's see, since I do have you grapple now, what can I do? I broke him free from the vines and I grappled him, right? Uh, you pulled him out of the vine. You didn't actually break them. Can I still attack to, like, break them? Yeah, you can try to break okay. them. Like, I mean, you're not gonna do much because you're punching, but hey. Uh, I'll try. Hey, look. Brawly, Brawly Fury, let... Look at this! Brawler's... Uh, Brawler's Fury is a full round act. Oh, shit. Uh, you're right. True. Oh, wrong one again. God damn it. <laughs> there you go. Oh, oh God! What is this bullshit? Right. So, you go to punch the vine and immediately impale your hand on a thorn. Oh, okay. Right. Sounds good. Can I still move? Yep, give me one second. Yeah. The thorn does... two damage to... Um, no. Uh, two damage is gonna matter later. Um, all right, I'm gonna attempt to drag me and Jaws a little closer to the rope right there. All right. Can I have him be in front of me, or is he gonna have to be like to my side? You can. Tr well, it. Yeah, he's gonna have to end up getting dragged behind you. All right, sounds good. Uh, I'm gonna intimidate the tree again. It's a tree, lad. It's a tree. tree. Fuck the tree. Not smart enough to understand. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna intimidate draws. As you attempt to get away from the tree, the vines wrap around you yet again. Alright, I'm gonna attempt to intimidate draws real quick. He's still enthralled, right? Why do I have to roll to defend yeah. against that? Uh, I'm gonna say, you fucking idiot, get a hold of yourself. Go ahead and make a will save. <laughs> Thank god. <laughs> I roll high. The first, the one time you like beat my intimidation, be great. All right. So, unfortunately, Draws's enthrallment by the tree seems to have the better of him. He doesn't seem to really be paying him any mind to you at all. All right, I'm done. Amrin, your turn. 
but be one hell of a will save. All right. Uh, sorry for the delay. I muted apparently. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna catch another fish. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just uh, a you fish. Have caught a three oh. pound fish. I'm okay, so I got confused between the 18 and the 13. I thought I critically failed. <laughs> so, my bad. Critically failed spear fishing. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you stab like, yourself oh, God, in the what's foot. What's going to happen to me? <laughs> oh, right. But, so. That's three yeah, pounds. That's... Uh, so I have 24 pounds of fish by me then? Yep. And that'll be my turn. All right. Everyone that is presently in the area of the tree, I need you to make will save. 24? Nat 20? Come okay. on, Dross! I'm already oh. enthralled. Yeah, he's already enthralled, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, right? So I intimidate him break him free. Yorn and Arthorn, you are still free of the tree's spell. Fuck you, tree. Alright, however, two of you are presently grappled. And we're gonna Did make that three as. Oh my god. Okay. That's strength against my CMD, right? It's actually an attack that subverses your AC, sadly. Oh, I have a 14. Yep. Arthorn, a vine begins to wrap around and it pulls you over the fish. He's tied on with rope though, can he go? Can, yeah, can he get a reflex save or anything? You have two 50 foot rope tied together and. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, uh, no. You could start pulling back, I guess, but... Yeah. It was all of our strength characters back there. Oh, oh right. yeah. I'm, with, I'm, with oh, yeah, okay, strength. just ignore me, okay, then. I'm pulling it back. Yorn, you, on the other hand, begin to start getting pulled back. Same for draws. Go. Uh, okay. I, don't, I don't get anything to do about that. A wonderful tree. Sadly, yep. Right. Unfortunately, like he actually crit versus the druid here. Oh. Yeah, he like, fucking he, he had to. Yeah, he, he, your ass. he crit. <laughs> All right, and need to roll for fire damage real quick. The tree bursts into flames. We're literally just waiting for this tree to burn down. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> And good thanks, you made all those potions. I'll just be glad you guys keep on mystically getting, um... Getting away from this fucking tree, because if it can get two rounds next to you, it would fucking eat you. Sounds fun. So, Vaughn, it is your I am gonna shoot it once more, and I pray I don't have to re-roll. Good! Don't have to re-roll that. Oh, that's terrible for the main damage. And free action, I'm going to pull my lever, ejecting the drum for my crossbow to reload next turn. Okay. That's it. You fire your crossbow at the tree, and you hit it. Uh, Arthorn, you hear another screech of pain as the, uh, what do you call it, crossbow hits You'll run out of vines before I run out of arrows! We got is, the tree, is the tree bleeding or anything, or is it just like... Oh, I mean, I, I, I guess you can say the, like, inner workings... If it bleeds, like, we can kill it. Technically, our blood? Yeah, it would actually have blood pouring out of it. Oh, okay. Alright. And with that, Siri, it is your turn. Okay, I'm gonna see if I could figure out what's going on with this tree, so I'm gonna cast Detect Magic. Alright. 
And as far as you can tell, the tree is not magical in nature. Some Just some bullshit that exists in this world. Okay. Yep. All right, then, uh, end my turn. Of all. So I have this sucker anchored down, right? Even though there's slack in the rope. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. So I'm gonna drop the rope. I'm gonna do this my way. I'm gonna fucking shoot him. All right. Do it. Uh, and then I'm gonna use. Hold on. Gotta make sure I do this right. Um. One second. Shoot my bow. Fucking sweet. And then um, I want to add something to it. It's. <clears throat> it is the. Like, combat style, I believe. Essentially, I add my wisdom modifier to the damage, which is four. That's all I want to do, but I just can't freaking find it. So that's it. That's what I want to do. I just want to shoot it, and then, um, as for a location, should I have called that beforehand? Um, uh, yeah, you should have called that beforehand, but... I want to shoot it in the same location that, um, my dwarven friend has shot at. Oh, okay. So he's That's just been kind of blindly shooting at it, but, uh... The latest one where I saw it bleed, I want to shoot that exact same location. Alright, yeah, that's no problem with your roll. Alright, so you fire your, uh... bow, and you hit relatively close next to where the wharf hit. And, again... Uh, Arthorn, you can hear a screech let out by the... Alright. Does that end your turn of ball? Yes. Arthorn. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and cast Fungal Infestation. <clears throat> Softening the tree. Um, essentially, you're gonna see my hand... My hand glow with a, or my 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 hand is gonna turn into black. Basically, the skin my skin's gonna turn black, and you're gonna see um, when I touch the tree, you're gonna see um, moss, moss, and uh, mushrooms and fungi start to grow out of it, and you see that the bark starts to become soft. Okay, I am going to need you to do a concentration check as well with it. So it should be up at the top near your spell. Okay. Yep. So. Well, it says it in the first one. It says concentrations plus 10. Yeah, but it's only rolling 10. Oh, okay. Yeah, right, right, right. right. Yeah, I, I, I don't know why it's... Yeah. Like, it's only roll was literally 10. I don't know why. Because um, the modifier is 10, and it yeah. rolled DC. Alright. So, let's double check. Really quick. I'm going to oh, call... Okay. No. Sorry, okay. Yeah. And you were able to cast it, so... Okay. okay. 
and I'm going to call out to it. Uh, listen, I'm going to say, listen, this is your last chance before we have to put you down. I'm trying to work with you. Please take the food and leave us in peace. So, you hear that wonderful plant growing sound as you cast the bell. Right. Trots. Need you to no, have respon- a no response? No response? <laughs> no response from the plant. Wow. Okay. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Like, like j- j- just saying though, you, like, like, it's a plant that was lit on fire. It's probably not going to be very cooperative after that. Thanks, Siri. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Fuck All right, plant. so draw. Oh, hey, draws a snap out of it. Oh what? man, welcome aboard. So all three Why am I pressing are... a tree? <laughs> all right. Oh, then. Uh, try another strength check. See if I can burst free from this damn tree. Do, no, do, um. Do your combat maneuver. Well, I could, but it, it's also says where the uh, making it from Liam's last spell, its uh, flesh is soft and fragile. Oh, so shouldn't that take a penalty for it now when it tries to resist? I'm hoping anyway. Oh, well, let's see if I can strength my way out of this shit. <laughs> And, unfortunately, you are unable to break the vines written. Sadly to say this, a vine is already soft and fragile. God damn it. Now it's even more soft and fragile. How fragile can it get? It's like paper. Yes. It's strong as paper. Apparently. Yo. Well, I- so, oh, is there anything else you want to do with him? Well, there's not really much I can do. I'm bound up, constricted, so... Alright. Uh, first, I'm an escape artist to try and get out of the... 23 again. To get out of the vine that is ensnaring me. Okay, so you're trying to escape artist? Okay, so and, you get the oil. Yeah, oil. So I'm at right, 25. You are able to slip out the vine. Now, just a question. If I drag Draws back, does he... Does it get attack of opportunity again, or no? If you move more than 10 feet through its threatened space, yes. And it is a large creature, so you're on the edge of its threatened space. So if I move him back one, and then, like, one more, what happens? Will that threaten it? He would get in... Yep. Unless Only you him. take a withdraw move. I can't withdraw when I grapple him, though, right? Nope. Uh, all right, I'm to the rope. And pull us in. Pull us in. Uh, here then. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to grab draws again. And since oh wait, since he's lucid, or since he's his mind is there, he doesn't get he gets to choose not to resist me though, right? Well, the grapple portion, I'm like, like I've been using that as a base guess to see how well you can pull him out of the tree's grapple. Yeah. So. All right. Um. Yeah, like he, he hasn't been resisting you at all this entire time. So. All right. Well, since I've grabbed him, I'm gonna pull us. Let's see. I'll pull us right. Oh, like it's from my position though, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll pull us back some then. Alright. So as you try to pull Draws out from the vine, he seems too entangled. And his... You, you can't seem to break him away from where he currently is. Alright. Uh... I guess I'll attack the vines then. <laughs> All right, you still do have a standard action. Yep. Awesome. 
Okay, so... Uh, can you roll an additional d6 for me, please? Yeah. Four. Okay. So you punch at the vine, and... You see them huss and bleed a little bit more. Okay. Uh. All right. Uh, I can't do anything else, right? I mean, I can try and diplomatize with the tree, like the druid here, but I'm not gonna try that. So, I guess I'm done since I can't do anything else. All right. Amarin. All right, I am tired of fishing, so I'm gonna move over here. Actually, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll move one more. I need you to make a will save. All right, it's under defense is right. Yep. Yep. You are enthralled. Well, shit. You feel compelled to continue movement towards the tree. So how, like, do I move right now, or...? If you still have movement available, yes. I do not. Okay, then you're fine. Uh, by the way, it's almost 8. I need to start getting ready for work soon. Oh. Or, it's almost 9. Yeah, I got five minutes. Speaking, yeah, we, we, we've got five more minutes on this session. Okay. Right. Does that end your turn? Yes, it does. All right. All those who are presently inside the tree's aura, if you're not controlled, please make a will save. Yeah, you ready to see the best will save ever? Draws, you are good. Arthorn, you are good. Yorn, you are enthralled again. Alright. Okay, so... And, uh, whoops, wrong button. Alright. Arthorn, take... 13 damage as the vines tighten around. Bjorn, you get dragged one square I, closer. I broke free of the vines. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, okay, well then, in that case, I need to make a vine attack roll first. 27 versus AC? Uh, yeah, I got 14. So, yes. Another vine that wraps around. Dregs. Five feet. Alright. Probably and. Just call it here. Yeah. Just finishing up the trees. Turn real quick because it'll go to the top of the round here in a second. Draws. You notice a hole opening up in the tree as it slowly pulls you into. You take 15 points of damage as you are now inside the tree. Was I next to it for two rounds? I don't think so. Yeah, because remember we pulled back and then we got pulled closer again? It's not one that, like, that has to be two rounds. It's one that I would have preferred it be two rounds, but I want at least one person to get damaged by this. Well, guess what? You're in the squishy inside part now, and you are you don't have to make a will save on your turn. Do I? Don't know that. You rolled a 24 on this. Oh, right, right. Yeah. So, Question, like, am I, I no longer... You Can are you... no longer bound by vine. Oh, uh -oh. good. So now you put the strongest fighter you can inside the animal with the greatsword. <laughs> good luck! <laughs> this is gonna be amazing. Hey, so it's not it. my fault the tree really wants to eat something living. Uh, All right. Fuck. I gotta help down myself, though. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and call it a night as we end this session. 
Yep. Yep. 